guys, it is me, Life Simmer, and welcome back to The Sims 3 Pets LP Part 20. Alright, so I did do a few new things, if you can't already tell. I went ahead and redecorated the house just a little bit. As we get more and more money, I'm going to go ahead and, you know, renovate and everything. Um, so let me go ahead and show you guys a little bit. Alright, so the first thing is the living room right here. I went ahead and kind of just put in like a new entertainment center, new couch, new color scheme, pretty much everything new in here. Um, so yeah, so I did that. And then here is the dining room, which I am totally, totally in love with. I like love it to pieces. I love the blue scheme. It just looks really nice and clean. So I did that. Also, I did something that I feel like you guys will really, really like. Um, I was kind of contemplating doing this. I was like, I don't know if I'm going to do this because I kind of feel like in a way I'm, I'm cheating. But I thought, you know what, there's so much I want to do with this LP. So, with that being said, I did go ahead and uh, go back to when they were newer young not young adults newer adults so they went back a few days of adulthood just so you know they could live it and because you know they just had a baby and everything I definitely want them to be able to you know see her grow as adults and not elders um I didn't bring back Duke's age or anything he is literally 46 days old and um I really do think this is the final part for Mr. Duke here which yes that is extremely sad but I'm gonna go ahead and have Andy come over here and um just give him a hug you know what I mean it's really sad when your animal passes away I think that's probably one of the saddest you know things you have to go through is your animal passing away and it's just absolutely heartbreaking so I have Andy kind of just give him a hug and everything and rub his belly and let him know I really do love you Dookie and I'm gonna miss you so much um, that's his best friend. What are you doing going to sleep right now? Oh, my goodness. She is pregnant, by the way, as most of you guys know. Um, so, uh, yeah. We tried for the baby in the last part. And I can't lower her age until she has the baby. So, when she does have the baby, I'll go ahead and, you know, bring her age back a little bit. But, uh, blah, 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 blah. if you guys remember, she does have the fertility treatment. So, I definitely am hoping she has uh, twins. Um, I think Andy will very much like that. So, yeah. I also want Andrea to go ahead and invite Cruz over. I want them to take it to the next step in this part. I want them to get engaged. I really, really do want that. So, we are going to go ahead and uh, invite him over. And hopefully he will show up. If he doesn't, I really feel like I'm going to stalk him and kill him. So, hopefully he comes. <laughs> I really do. He's He's been ignoring us. And he's such a jerk for that. Um... Yeah, but anyways, let's get a good look at Mr. Duke here. Get, a, like, a little picture. Um, let me tell you, when the pets die in The Sims 3, I'm so happy that they did it in, like, a really respectable manner. They did it, you know, where the Grim Reaper hugs the dog, and I think it is so cute. They did it in a really great way, because when animals pass away, we all know it is, like, the saddest thing ever. Oh, yeah. So, yes, let's go ahead and call Mr. Cruz, the fairy, over, and, um... Let's see what he is up to. See if he wants to hang out. Woohoo, maybe. Let's see. Sorry, I don't feel like coming over right now. You're such a doucheloo. You really are, Cruz. You really are. You ignore us. After we gave you our body, you gave up on us. That is, like, so mean. I really am feeling like Andrea might as well go back home, restart her online dating, because Cruz has been so rude and he has been neglecting us so you know what we have met a lot of people from online dating even though i totally think cruz is a total cutie he has been totally ignoring us who is this jermone freedom friedman he looks like a baby i don't want to bother with him he really looks like a baby but then again i don't want the word going around to cruz that we are totally doing stuff with other people so i'm going to send him maybe a hootie text and say get your ass over here before i kill you um i mean that might work sorry i'm about to head out try calling back in four hours are you effing kidding me he must be at work or something i don't know but I will call him back in the morning tomorrow, and hopefully he will come 
freaking hang out with his girlfriend. I mean, wow. All right, we're going to go ahead and um, continue teaching Miss Miss Bailey how to walk because we were working on that in the last part. So let's go ahead and go upstairs and do that with her. Uh, we're not even going to use the walker. I just kind of feel like it's a daddy baby type of thing. Father daughter activity that, you know, would be really cute. And he's just such a man. I love it. You guys know how much I love that he's a man. You know? That's like that is so hot. Like if a guy he he like takes care of his kids and his dogs and he's like he takes care of his stuff. To me that is so cute. That is like ugh. There's nothing cuter than a DILF. <laughs> a daddy that is so cute. Not a MILF. A DILF. Let me tell you. Those are real. Those are real. <laughs> so she, yeah, she's about to learn how to walk like a cutie. Duke's watching like, oh. Come on, I'm waiting. Come on. There we go. Awesome. Bailey learned how to walk. Alright, what's her problem? She smells. Alright, go ahead and change your dirty diaper and feed her. Alright, let's go ahead and try to give Cruz another call and invite him over. I don't know if he'll come over, but we're going to go ahead and try. Sorry, I don't feel like coming over right now. Did he like... Did he die? Did he? Because he has been, like, really not wanting to talk to us. And, like, he's never home. Is he seeing another girl? Is he seeing another girl? I will destroy him. Like, I will literally, like, kill his sim off. Somehow, I would kill his sim off. Alright, let's go ahead and woohoo to text him. Why? Why, Cruz? He is really making me want to break up with him. Okay, you know what? This is where, what we're going to do. If he doesn't come over tomorrow, we're breaking up with him. We are. So that's how that's going to go. All right, we're going to go ahead and um, actually, you know what, Andrea? You have a little bit of energy in you. You know what? Your boyfriend keeps ignoring you. Go over to the watering hole. Get a little juiced or buzzed and, uh, and see if there's any guys here. <laughs> there's an old man and a bouncer that we could totally flirt with. We could totally flirt with Drew Shipman, the bouncer. He's, um, he's a little scary looking, but whatever. We're going to come here and flirt with him. Oh, and look, Snuggles Fenderson is here. I don't know if there's, like, duplicates of Snuggles because there's, like, an old one and a young one in this neighborhood, which I'm a little confused about, but, I mean, all right. All right. So we are going to come in here, get ourselves a... Let's buy a sweet hijinks. And, uh, yeah. Joseph Fenderson, mixologist. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Oh, that is so funny. Joseph is a mixologist now. Look at his tattoos. I remember him putting those on him and saying, oh, those are really cute. <laughs> Give us a drink because we're going to get juiced. Wide awake from the juice. Alright, we're going to come over here. We're going to go ahead and call this uh, bar... Not bartender. Bouncer over. Get, do a little friendly introduction. His hair is longer than ours. <laughs> and we're going to go ahead and uh, get to know him a little bit. And uh, enthuse about cats. And um, let's see. I think he's a mermaid. Because uh, we can talk about kelp. We're going to worry about money because we are totally broke right now. Um, what else? We're going to talk about the school of peace and love and kind of just get to know him a little bit. And uh, I think we're going to go ahead and flirt with him as well. I think he'll totally like it. Oh! Andrea. I don't think Cruz would like this. He would not like it at all. Alright. Do like a little bit of a pickup line. Heat of the moment, kiss him. Oh my goodness. Oh. 
Amber's getting her belly. Andrea has a naughty reputation. You go. Alright, so she just got her belly. Her stage one belly. Alright, Joseph is just like... I went from being in the military to bartending at the watering hole. I went from Lucky Palms to Appaloosa Plains. What am I doing? <laughs> Alright, we're going to go ahead and... Um, Let's see, let's see. Let's go ahead and kiss him and embrace him and give him a good hug. Because we're about to get kicked out of here. Ooh, all right. That's the end of the night, Andrea. You did enough cheating on Cruz. All right, we're going to go ahead and head home now. And uh, if Cruz doesn't give us a call tomorrow, we're going to hang out with Drew once again. I'm really hoping Cruz will give us a call because he is, you know, our boyfriend. And I really do like Cruz, even though he's a little weirdo. I do like him, and I do hope he messages us or comes over at least, you know what I mean? But I don't see that happening. So if not, we have Drew Shipman to go ahead and speak to, which would need a dramatic makeover. <laughs> but that is where I am going to say I will see you guys in the morning. <laughs> so I'll see you guys in the morning. Alrighty, so it is a rainy day here in Appaloosa Plains. Now, I've gotten some comments saying, oh my gosh, you like you don't pay attention to the horses or the cats or anything anymore. And you know what? I feel like right now I'm focusing more on the Sims themselves. You know what I mean? I'm kind of trying to get their lives together and everything but I do actually have some plans um, for the animals so let me go ahead and explain that uh, just a little bit like I said our animals are getting a lot older and I told you guys I would show you you know the all the breeding and everything and Duke is you know <laughs> now about to you know pass away and everything so yes we will be getting another dog in the future not now but we will be getting another dog like in the future and um you know breeding him and everything but right now what i want to do with the breeding is definitely uh rose when she you know when meadow passes away which once again <laughs> is going pretty fast but meadow is you know gonna live quite some time so i don't know i'm gonna have to figure this out i want one of them to breed with a unicorn and um or at least us find a unicorn or something. I don't know. We're going to do something along that line. And then for the cats, we already did the cat breeding. Yes, they're a joy. And they're actually, they have quite some time to go as well. Um, so, you know, yes, I want to do a lot of stuff. But there's not much you can do other than have them, you know, run around and do all that good stuff. And just be animals roaming the house and destroying the house. You know what I mean? So right now, it's kind of all about the, just trying to get our family together. But we're going to go ahead and, like I said invite the cruise over and hopefully he'll want to see his girlfriend sure i'll come over in a little while you better actually come i don't know if he's glitched or if he's just like actually ignoring us i don't know either way we are on the verge of finding a new man so needs to hurry up actually oh overnight bailey learned how to talk in her little toy over here so that's good but we're actually gonna have andy go into work right now he really needs to go repair um go repair the machines and everything so we're gonna go have him do that and um yeah we're gonna have him go ahead and oh why 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 do you do this to me um, I don't even know. I forget where the fire station is. Is that bad? I go there all the time with him, and I can't even find it right now. Here it is. Wow. It was right there. All right. I'm going to have him go in really quickly and just kind of work on the, um, on the truck a little bit. Because it really does need to be fixed up a little bit. We need to maintain it. We also need to maintain the bell. So, let's go ahead and maintain both of those real quickly. Let's see, hopefully Cruz is going to come over. I honestly, like I said, I have a feeling he's not going to. I really feel like he's not going to come. I feel like Cruz like almost like died or something. <laughs> Somebody's in, okay, I don't, oh, it's Cruz calling us. Cruz. 
Um, Cruz would like to chat. Sure. You were supposed to be coming over. Cruz. Cruz, you cannot just call your girlfriend and that excuse you from coming over. Get your ass over here. Are you kidding me? Get, come here right now. Sure, I'll come over in a little while. Oh my goodness. He better come. He is really, he is about to lose Andrea. He really is. It's, this has been too long. She's already kissed another man. And he clearly liked her last night. He's really about to lose Andrea. If he does not hurry up and get here, I'm going to give him another... Not that long. Look, look. This person came over here to an empty lot, but he can't come to his girlfriend. I'm really... I am so disappointed in him. He just, like, literally, we're going to break up with him. Oh, my goodness. I don't know if I need to, like, reset him or something. Let's see. Reset Sim Cruz Martin. Gale. But I don't think I need to. Let's go ahead and invite him over again. Oh, my God. Now he's saying he doesn't feel like coming over. This. Oh, my goodness. Cruz is out at the moment. Okay, where is he? I, I, I have a feeling he's at another girl's house. You know what, Andrea? Come scout out at his house. He's such a jerk. He is such a jerk. We're going to scout out at his house until we see him come here. He is literally... Why? Why is he... No, you're staying here. Oh, who just went in that house? Somebody, 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 somebody. <laughs> Somebody just came here. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Can we send him a love letter and maybe he'll be like, oh, she really does love me. Let me, let me be with her forever. He is such a jerk. Andrea, you're not going anywhere. You're waiting. Andrea, no. Go back. Oh my gosh, where is he that he's like never home? All right, Andrea, you can go home, but I'm scouting out here the whole night. I can't get over this. Is Cruz alive is my question. Literally all I want to know. All righty, guys, I'm going to go ahead. Go ahead. Blah, 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 blah. That was all messed up. <laughs> okay, I am going to go ahead and end this part here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. In the next part, we're going to have the babies, the babies, and then the next part, we're going to go ahead and decide. You guys let me know in the comments down below. Do you guys want me to keep trying with Cruz, or do you guys want Andrea to go ahead and move on? Let me know in the comments down below. But, um, yeah, in the next part, actually, I think Bailey's going to age up as well. Actually, I don't think she will. Um, but, yeah, we're going to have the babies in the next part, which is pretty exciting. Um, or the baby, or the babies. Who knows? But I will see you guys in the next part. Bye, guys.